Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we are back with another hair tutorial. So today's tutorial is gonna be very detailed. We're showing off the I Like Hair 13 by four Kinky Edges HD Lace Frontal Ventilated Curly Wig. I have it in 18 inches. All the information will be listed in the description box down below. This wig is a revolutionary Afro inspired new trend. It's unique because of the special technique to make the hairline look extremely natural, especially with the kinky texture. It definitely mimics a black woman's real natural hairline and I'm gonna show you guys tons of comparisons in this video so if you guys want to see how I was able to achieve this look with this realistic edges just continue to watch so of course I'm giving you guys an unboxing first one thing about I like hair is that they're going to send you everything that you would need for a flawless install which I definitely appreciate All right, so here is the wig. Once again, this wig is from I Like Hair. It is their 13 by four Kinky Edges HD Lace Frontal Ventilated Curly Wig, and I have it in 18 inches. The point of this wig, you guys, is to show off those kinky edges and to show how realistic it is. Once I get to the lace, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. So this lace, you guys, is supposed to mimic a black woman's natural hairline. It's ventilated, which means that the hairline is defined for you. You're supposed to do little to no work whatsoever. And I give you guys tons of close-ups in this video as well as a comparison to my natural edges just so you know that I am not raving about this wig for nothing. So the first thing that I'm doing is adding some mousse to the edges and then I'm going to brush it back. This just makes it a lot easier for me to actually install the wig. I am going to be using spray during this wig install but I want to give you guys a close-up as to how the wig will look if you were to install it glueless so that's why I use the mousse first. Don't worry, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison later on, but I'm just showing you guys my natural edges as well as a close-up of the wig's edges one more time. So as usual, I'm just fitting the wig to my head. Now you guys are gonna see me get a little bit excited because once I saw how that lace just melted into my skin color wise, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be an amazing install as well as the edges too. So right now I'm showing you guys my edges compared to the wig's edges as well. So the wig's edges compared to my edges definitely match, including the length of the sideburns, because I have pretty long sideburns, and this was giving me a realistic feel. So I was comfortable. I said, you know what? The hairline is already defined for me. I don't have to do any additional work. So I just cut along the edges to get rid of all that additional lace. And because the wig is so defined for you as far as the hairline, it just makes it a lot easier for you to know exactly where to cut and how much to cut. All right, so in a few, I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of that lace. So I'm showing you guys exactly how it would look if you were to do a completely no glue, no spray install. And that lace is so clear, which makes it easier for you to have a skin-like install. This lace is amazing. So now I'm just showing you guys the lace when I lift it up and pull it back down, lift it back and pull it back down, just so you can see how it would look if you were to do a completely glueless wig install. All right, so I'm trying a new technique today. So instead of using my fingers to apply that spray and have it dripping all over the place, I'm just applying that spray onto a sponge and dabbing it onto the area where I need it to go. I saw a girl do this with her wig install and it came out really good, so I decided to try it. I definitely think it works. It's just that the sides, I had to do a little bit of more touch-ups, you know what I mean? But other than that though, it definitely works. Like I didn't have to get my fingers dirty. So if you hate having spray on your fingers and stuff, definitely try this method. All right, so I'm definitely gonna give you guys some more close-up of the edges in a few, but now that the elastic band is off, I'm just adding some makeup onto that lace just to make the lace look a little bit more like my skin color, cover up any lines of demarcation or anything like that. All 
All right, here is a close-up look at that. That is freaking insane. Looks like my hair, and I love it. I definitely love it. So now it's time to style. I did one side off camera already. Again, I'll give you guys a close-up of those edges because I could not get enough of it. And you guys know I am the close-up queen. I'm gonna show you exactly what the lace is looking like. That way you guys know I'm not lying. Ain't no filter over here, okay? This is definitely I like hair, top quality lace. So right now I'm just using my wax stick and my hot comb because you guys know that I like the top of my wigs to look flat. Please do not comb the hot comb through the curls and do not comb it through the edges. This is just a method just to make sure that the wig doesn't look too bulky on the top of my head. Okay, so now that that part is over, we are just adding some water onto this hair. So now that we're styling the actual hair, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. Obviously, this is a kinky curly texture, but what I love the most about it is that it's not too kinky and it's also not too loose curly, if that makes any type of sense. Like, I feel like this is a true kinky curly type of texture and it's very soft and the curls are still bouncy the curls are still noticeable even though it is kinky and I just feel like it makes it a lot more manageable and it looks really pretty to the eye and when it comes to hair like this all it really needs is water and a little bit of mousse you guys know I do not like putting a lot of product in my hair so you know water and mousse goes a long way whenever it comes to I like hair wigs especially their kinky curly wigs I never have an issue with their wigs as far as the quality I didn't have any tangling I didn't have any shedding or anything like that and I hope you guys were able to tell that when I brushed through the hair it glided very easily so I didn't have any problems with the hair whatsoever. All right, so now I am just adding some mousse onto those edges. For one, I just want the curls to pop a little bit more because the edges are kinky curly as well. And number two, I just wanted to get rid of any makeup that may have gotten on it. So I just used a little bit of mousse and kind of just rubbed it in. Okay, and that's all I did for styling. Easy, right? I told you guys, I told you, this wig literally comes ready to go. All you have to do is just cut off the lace and use glue spray, whatever you want. And I'm also giving you guys a close up as to how it looks with natural lighting. I'm right by my window, no studio lights or nothing like that. This is what the lace looks like in real time, real lighting. All right, you guys, so we have come to the very end of the tutorial. I really hope you guys saw the benefits of this wig and how natural and realistic this wig looks. The kinky curly edges, the kinky curly texture is so beautiful. And I definitely feel like this wig is beginner friendly because there's nothing else that you have to do besides cut off the lace and install it as you please. I will have all the information listed at the very top of the description box for you guys. So make sure you check out I Like Hair because they did not come to play. And this is one of those wigs where it's definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.